So Billy, fantastic 5-0 win away from home tonight, as is the recreation, what did you make of the Ports tonight? Uh, I think the most positive thing we took from the game tonight is obviously the clean sheet, I think that was really important, uh, you know, we, we, we knew that we had a few defensive uh, sort of problems that we needed to sort out, and I think we've done that tonight, um, certainly with the help of the coaching staff, Mikey, Sai, myself and, and Laura have talked quite long and hard about it, um, and if, you know, fingers crossed we'll put that to bed now. Like I said, the clean sheet was the most important thing tonight. You must have been delighted with that as well. No, ab absolutely. <coughs> you know, and I think we not only that, but we restricted them to, to very, very limited chances. They had a couple of long shots from outside the box and missed the target. So, you know, I think collectively, uh, the back four with, with Liam and, and Jimmy, and then obviously Tom Class when he came on and did his bit in there was was really rewarding for us. Was there a slight change in formation tonight? Um, a, a, a little bit. Um, you know, we, we just asked one or two players just to tuck in a little bit more for us, um, so we're not as gung ho as we, we have been in previous games. So, yeah, um, a little bit of change of responsibilities for the players more than a change in formation. Personally, I thought we dominated the match throughout the entirety. Uh, perfect start, really. Three minutes in, we took the lead with Josh Greening. Good finish. Yeah, no, great to see Josh getting on because he's, you know, he's, he's had a lot of chances in previous games and. But to see him finish, you know, so early in the game was really, really good for us. You know, you, you think about the travelling he's done. He's set from quarter past four him and Jimmy Beard up from Scarborough. So great to see him get on the score sheet. We probably should have scored a couple of more before half time, but bang on half time we got our second. And obviously you can see we are joined by a special guest tonight, George Conway. <laughs> Do you want to? I'll leave it to you. Do you want to just go through what happened? Yeah, I mean, I've uh, obviously keepers come out, Nick Blacks, uh, close it down, and I drifted it. Drifted it. I thought it was going to come to me. So. Further, my first touch is set it up perfectly for me. Uh, obviously, you just do it. Some go in, some go over. So you might as well try it. You'll be, uh, you'll be pleased to know I've got it on video, so you can yeah, see that. Yeah, I, I have seen it. Yeah, <laughs> it looks fantastic. What did you make of it, really? Absolutely first class. I thought the execution of it, I think that George has highlighted his first touch set it up for him. As soon as he set it up and took it on the half volley, uh, you know, the minute it left the end of his foot, I think most of us knew it was heading in. Uh, Great execution and, uh, and one for the scrapbook for him. Just going back to you, George, for a second, were you pleased with your overall performance tonight? I am, yeah. Billy's obviously put me in a different role, uh, brought me in a bit instead of being out wide. Really enjoyed it. But getting more involved in it, finding little pockets, obviously Liam and Jimmy behind me helping me out. Uh, but yeah, really enjoyed it in there. Into the second half, then 3-0, uh, another penalty. Yeah, Liam's yeah, four yeah, in four yeah. games. Uh, four in four games. I really just really. might I just might score in mind. Yeah, just. well, I mean, to be fair to the keeper, he did well to get across um, and, and just couldn't quite keep it out. But I think mean, Liam, Liam will be up there in the goal scoring charts. <laughs> He's top scorer. He scored from yeah. open play yet. So, uh, no, great to see and, and to have someone who can execute penalties like he, Liam does. You know, he, he, he never places them in the same place. We've had four penalties now and four different outcomes, and all four of them have ended in the back of the net. So, yeah, brilliant for him. As the rain starts coming down in the second half, we felt like we could score more goals and they just mm. kept coming, didn't they? The fourth, um, Nick Black played in, substitute Adam Baker. Mm. What a finish that was from the edge of the box and top corner. Well, you know, Baker's someone I brought to the club, um, so I certainly know what he's capable of. I know he's, he's capable of doing that. Uh, it's great to see it because, you know, he's patient, he waits for his chance, his opportunity comes along and he goes out and he delivers for us. Shortly after, Adam Baker turned provider. Lovely weighted pass for Nick Black, who raced it and never let him miss it, did he? No, not at all. Really tough for Nick because, uh, you know, he, he's, he's been phenomenal for us since he's come in. Uh, great to have him amongst the squad, leads the line really, really well, he gets up, wins his headers, he's an intelligent player, he listens intensely to what you tell him, he always tries to do everything that you've asked him to do. So, yeah, great for Nick. Make sure you get that clean sheet in there, Bert. <laughs> and the clean sheet, of course, as well. <laughs> Just a little on a new signing, Dan Clayton. He came yeah. on tonight for his debut. What do you think he can bring to the club? Well, Dan's got a lot of experience. You know, he's been, he's been around conference football since he was 18, 19 year old. He's, you know, he's only 22, 23 year old. So he's got a lot of years left ahead of him. Um, he gives us, he's certainly great width, very similar to Baker, but on, from the left hand side. So, you know, you put him in with George, with, with Josh Green in, with Josh Barrett, you know, with Nick Black, and, and all of a sudden your attacking options are, are formidable. So, and, and that's what we need. If we're going to go there or thereabouts, we need to make sure that we've got enough attacking options in the team to be able to change the game. And we did that tonight, you know, late in the game. I think the final mention should be to the fans who were, again, outstanding tonight. Just a quick word for them. 
No, I, I, yeah, I just said to, to, to Matt before that yeah, I can't wait for the Colm game because I went to see them last night and they're very, very similar and it'll be an absolutely phenomenal atmosphere at the Eye to Eye when we, we, we play that week on Saturday. But yeah, they're brilliant. They've, they've stood by us and uh, you know, they've come out in the rain and the wind tonight and they've sung their hearts out in the stand and you know, that, that, that makes it really special for the lads and you know, to have them around and I'm getting to know one or two of them now who, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a people's person, I like talking to people, you know, and one or two are now coming up to me and, and chatting away about the team and about the direction we're going in, so, no, brilliant, absolute first class tonight. On Saturday now we welcome Brick Town to the end, mm. nice to get back to the ways at home on Saturday. <clears throat> yeah, I think so, I, I, I had a look at the pitch tonight before we came out and it looks absolutely immaculate, um, so it'll be nice to get back on it, um, nice for the lads, we've got two home games, or three home games now, if you include the FA Cup game, so, you know, a chance to have a week at home now and, and, and get a bit of a, a run under our belt and see where it can take us. Well done tonight, see you Saturday. Thanks very much. You say that you need